I'm Matt Zahn, and here's what I learned today at Hallis Hall, trying to sift through everything Matt Nagy said and didn't say about his quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky. Now, Nagy says Trubisky is day-to-day -day with that hip pointer injury that he suffered Sunday against the Rams, what Nagy said is the only reason he was pulled out of that game. Now, the good news is Trubisky was on the practice field in full so I would expect him barring a setback to play Sunday. And Trubisky said if it feels better each day, he expects to play as well. And Nagy said he absolutely still believes Trubisky gives his team the best chance to win. In fact, he says the last two weeks, Trubisky has made big improvements as a quarterback. The numbers, at least, don't really back it up from last Sunday. But I guess you could blame some of his struggles against the Rams on his hip injury. Nagy also said there's no consideration in just shutting Trubisky down for the rest of the season as these injuries mount and the struggles continue to mount as well. And I'm pretty much with Nagy on that point. It really doesn't make a lot of sense to play Chase Daniel at this point. You might as well see what you've got in Trubisky. Maybe you can learn something more about him these last few weeks because the playoffs probably aren't happening this year. And one final thing. Looks like no change will be coming at the kicker position. Matt Nagy said he hasn't even talked to Eddie Pinero yet after his two missed field goals on Sunday. That actually dropped Pinero to 25th in the NFL in kicking percentage. But despite that, Nagy says they still have confidence in him, so don't expect a change there.